Hey family, it's your girl Kim and I am back with video number two of this four-part series on financial stewardship. Today we talk all about savings and the importance of it. Be sure to turn on your notifications, subscribe, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. All right, let's get ready for this episode of Hey Good Stewart. See you on the other side. family, I'm so glad that you made it back. As I mentioned, this is video number two of Hey Good Steward, where we talk about all things stewardship according to biblical principles. And so we're doing the four-part series on the important aspects of financial stewardship, and there are four. If you have not had a chance to check out video number one, Go ahead and check it out after this video. We talk about budgeting just a little bit. And on this video here, we're talking about savings, all right? And before we move any further, of course, you know we have to go into prayer. So Father, I thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord God, for your word. Thank you for what's being shared with your good stewards. And I pray, Father, that they receive something that they can add to their stewardship bag and they can allocate it through their day-to-day -day life on being good financial stewards over your blessings. And so we thank you. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, I first want to show you all, look what I got in the mail. It's the Financial Stewardship Bible. And when I ordered it, I actually thought it was a book. I don't know what I read, but when I opened it up, I was like, yo, this is the actual Bible. I love it. When you check out number uh, video number one, if you have not already seen it, y'all saw my Bible. Okay, that's my favorite Bible. That's the one I have all of my important scriptures highlighted. I got sticky notes. When it's time for me to minister a word and God gives me a subject, my notes are right there. So Lord's will, that, that Bible is not going anywhere no time soon. But I'm grateful for this Bible. We like to refer to the word when it comes to stewardship. And today we're coming out of Genesis chapter 41, verses 53 through 57. And it's a familiar uh, story for um, a lot of us. And it's about brother Joseph. So Genesis chapter 41, verses number 53 through 57, and it reads, Egypt's seven years of plenty came to an end and the seven years of famine began, just as Joseph had said. There was not enough food in other countries, but all over Egypt, there was plenty. When the famine finally struck Egypt, the people asked the king for food. But he said, go to Joseph and do what he tells you to do. The famine became bad everywhere in Egypt. So Joseph opened the storehouses and sold the grain to Egyptians. People from all over the world came to Egypt because the famine was severe in their countries. Joseph received instructions from God on what to do and how to prepare for this famine that was to come in the next seven years. When the harvest was plenty, Joseph stored away food. He didn't allow the people to eat up everything to waste. He made sure he stored in the storehouses plenty of grain to carry the people of Egypt for seven years. It was because of Joseph following God's divine instructions that the people of Egypt did not starve to death. 
And I like to think that Joseph saved many lives outside of the people of Egypt because it says that people all across the world came to Egypt to see Joseph. So like Joseph, you and I, we have to steward our harvest, meaning that we can't spend up everything that we receive when it comes to our financial blessings. When it comes to budgeting, we definitely want to make sure we're budgeting what we're saving. And it's helpful that um, with your employer, for those of us that are working, our employer can actually directly deposit money into our savings account, which is a totally separate account from our checkings account. So we have to set up a method to help us with this. And so famine may not be a lack of food for you and I, but famine could be an unexpected car repair or a furnace may break in your house. What if your job told you that you had to do mandatory overtime and you needed someone to watch the kids? And yeah, after childcare, after school childcare, it costs. Or you tell your mom, your grandma, hey, I need you to watch the kids. They're like, yeah, but you got to run me my coins. <laughs> you want to be able to have money available for those things. And I'm not talking about credit cards. What about in an unexpected layoff? We all know that the unemployment checks, they barely scratch the surface of us handling our monthly expenses. So being conscious of a savings fund will be your life jacket or your little arm floaties if you're ever tossed into the waters of an unexpected financial situation. And we know sometimes those, those waters, they get a little rough out there when we get those unexpected financial situations to come at us. So it takes discipline and determination to set this goal up for savings, saving money, to allocate money for different things, different reasons. So we can't just take all of our money that we make and go out and buy clothes or go out to the latest popular restaurant spend it on a new bag like we really can't do that that's not being a good steward over our finances if we properly budget and we put money to the side allocate savings for that there's going to come that time that we can buy that bag we can go to that restaurant we can go buy a new outfit because we've saved the money to do so. Your savings should be for important expenditures, like you have your emergency fund. We know that sometimes the car will act up. For homeowners, you always need that money set to the side for anything that goes wrong in the house. And I know some of us, we have the warranty uh, policies, but they want their deductible. So we definitely want to have that put up into a savings account. What about for Christmas and birthdays, vacations? You know, it's good to set up savings for those celebrations and for those vacations. If we know that the kids will need clothes coming up for the next school year, do you know you can actually allocate funds to a separate savings account for that? It's really important to set ourselves up for the future. And savings is an important aspect 
as we see with Brother Joseph. And so like Joseph, we, we have to be a good steward. Allocate those funds into the proper savings account. I know a lot of us, we think that credit cards are a good way to handle those expenses. But be honest with yourself. Do you actually pay that credit card balance before it is due or when it's due? Do you pay, do you pay it down to that 10%? Most of us don't. But having money put to the side in those savings accounts, you can swipe your credit card. But you know what? When that credit card come due, you can pay it down to that 10%. There will come times that, yeah, you're going to have to use that credit card for um, something you know, something that may be over the amount that's in your savings account. But you don't have to fund that emergency or that situation using that credit card alone. You can actually pay off that credit or you can pay towards that credit card with the money that you have saved. It's important for us to be a good steward, a good financial steward and not live just for today. But know that Lord's will, we have a future that we have to take care of. And I know that the word of God, it tells us don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow takes care of itself. And it does, why? Because God gives us financial wisdom on how to take care of tomorrow. That wisdom comes from him. So, with that being said, I hope I said something to help. I go deeper in the conversations uh, during the coaching calls when it comes to these important aspects. But I did want to just drop some gems and some jewels on these video on, on the four part videos. And so I'm thankful that you did uh, take time to watch this and we'll get ready and close out in prayer. Thank you, dear God, for the person that's watching this video. I thank you, Lord God, that you're turning their financial situation around and they are being good stewards over their finances. And we want to make you proud. So, Lord, we just ask that you continue to guide us and lead us and give us wisdom on how to be good stewards. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, family, I hope to see you on the next video of Hey, Good Steward. Have an amazing day.